When you meditate, you're putting yourself in the driver's seat, deciding where you want to go. And you're very conscious of the fact that that's where you are. You do have that ability to choose. Sometimes we hear the teaching on karma. It sounds like we're simply on the receiving end of things we did in the past. But then, of course, that would mean in the past we're on the receiving things, receiving end of things that we did before that. There'd be no choice. There'd be no freedom of choice. And there'd be no purpose in having a teaching. The fact that the Buddha taught shows that he saw that there would be something accomplished by teaching people how to take charge of their lives. So meditation is basically driver's ed, teaching you how to drive. You focus the mind on one thing that's skillful, and you begin to notice there are other intentions that come into the mind as well. When you don't have that one purpose to focus on, it's very easy to get pushed around and not realize it. But once you've made up your mind you're going to stay with one thing, then you run into any alternative intentions in the mind. You see them clearly. And then the next step, of course, is learning how to say no to them. Sometimes all you have to do is just bring yourself back to your original intention, right back to the breath. Other times you have to work with the breath to make it more comfortable. Tell yourself the fact that the mind wandered off shows that the breath is not totally absorbing. At least your attitude is not totally absorbed yet, so what, what could you do to make it more interesting? You know, think of the breath energies in the different parts of the body. If you know you have a disease of some kind, think of the breath energies in the diseased part of the body. Compare them with the breath energies in a healthier part of the body. And see if you can think of the healthier energies going through the diseased part. Or if there's a pain someplace, think of the comfortable sensations in the body permeating the pain, going out the other side. There's lots you can do, and you begin to realize that the present moment is not just a given. The things that are given are the raw materials from which you create your experience of the present moment. That's what the Buddha's teachings on causality are all about. You do have choices right now. So make the most of them. Learn how to make sure that the driver is someone who's mindful, someone who's alert, and someone who's really trying to drive well. Because there are many routes that you can take through life. You want to make sure the driver can see which route will go where which ones are the good ones to follow, which ones are not, and will be alert to any dangers along the way. That way your driver is reliable, and you get to go to places you really do want to go to. If the driver is not trained, you have no idea where you're going to end up. And that's why most people live their lives. Sometimes they take responsibility, and sometimes not. What happens when they're not taking responsibility? Well, greed, aversion, and illusion tend to come in and take over. And when they're driving your car, you know they're not going to take you to a good place. So you've got to be alert all the time. When we talk about meditation, it's not just when you're sitting here with your eyes closed. When you get a good state of mind going in the meditation, when you carry it with you as you go through the day as best you can. That way you've got an educated driver all along the way. And you find that with more and more training, you can trust that driver more and more as well.